New at five, nearly a dozen district attorneys in the Bay Area have reached a settlement with the cosmetics company Ulta. KPIX 5's Julia Goodrich reports on how several stores across the state reportedly mishandled disposing of their products. Julia? Yes, you know, this was an investigation that spanned from Northern California all the way to Southern California. We're talking about 161 of these Ulta stores. And if you think about the products that are inside these stores, we're talking about hairspray and suntan lotion. You can't just throw them in a back dumpster. And that is what was going on. They say beauty sometimes comes at a cost. These were serious uh, violations of hazardous materials. And for the Ulta beauty stores statewide, that cost comes in the form of a hefty $750,000 fine for violations of hazardous waste. Was it negligent behavior? Mo most companies don't realize these laws. Scott Alonzo is with the Contra Costa County District Attorney's Office. He says the settlement follows an investigation into all California Ulta stores. So, for instance, uh, products like sunscreen, right, makeup, uh, nail polish remover, all those things are being tracked now, shampoo. So they know where it's going. Uh, before, they didn't have any record of that. And so that was really where a big issue was. This TikTok video went viral when an employee was demonstrating how they get rid of returned or used items. But this settlement points specifically at the hazardous waste thrown in dumpsters. This photo was taken outside the oldest store in Pinole. He just looked inside their dumpster and found all these products uh, mixed in with regular trash. Without that proper care, uh, we could see a threat to not only animals, but uh, human life. Well, that isn't right. They should dispose of them properly, just like any other product. Because you just can't, you know, um, hurt the environment. But now all California stores have adopted new policies and new procedures to properly manage and dispose of the hazardous waste products. And Ulta isn't the only company facing fines. We've taken action against companies uh, last year from uh, a paint company uh, to recently a steel plant. Juliet, when did the investigation into Ulta stores start and have all the stores changed their practices now? You know, this audit started a couple of years ago, and I have to say that even though Ulta didn't come out with an official statement when we looked into it, their actions really speak for themselves. They are complying, and that was a key thing that the DA wanted me to stress as well, that they are doing that now for all of their stores throughout the state. All right. Good to hear. All right, Juliet, thank you.